Hey guys, this is Sam, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Notes app in iOS 9. So if you've been against the Notes app for the past couple years because you just felt it lacked features, I think you're going to think quite the opposite when you take a look at the new Notes app present in iOS 9. I'm going to go ahead and launch it up right now, start on a new note. And it's going to look pretty much the same, of course. You can type in a note, just do some standard text like this, hold down on something, maybe make it bold like you could in iOS 8, completely normal stuff like that. However, let's go ahead and tap on this little plus icon right here, and you're going to see a plethora of new options. And the first one that I think is really cool and just completely makes sense is going to be this checklist feature. You can type in things and keep hitting the enter button over and over again, to make a checklist and then say it's a grocery list. You can go ahead and check these things off the list as you go on the fly, which is super, super cool. I love that checklist feature. And then next to it, we have a little lowercase a and capital A. If we tap on that, this is going to present us with all of our formatting options, meaning we can make this the title of the document or maybe a smaller subline or heading. Then we can do the body text. We can make a bolded list, stashed list, numbered list. And then down below, we also have quick and much easier access to our bold, italicized, and underline options. Now, I remember back in iOS Ed, I think they added the ability for you to like underline things and make them bold and italicized. But that's like as far as you could go in iOS 8. Now this is only like halfway through the features. You can also now add a picture on the fly by choosing one from your photo library, as well as taking one just right now. You can take a photo or a video straight from the new notes app, which is incredibly useful. If you wanna maybe take a picture of a room, remember something in a note, you don't have to search through your camera roll just to find that specific picture. You can save it to a specific note now. And this last option, is gotta be my favorite because in the notes app in iOS 9, you can now actually draw things, which is a ton of fun. Go ahead and take a look at all these color options. I think there's 24 in total, which is just absolutely crazy. But moving on, at the bottom of the screen is your tools, what you're gonna use to create these sketches. The first one is the pen, which looks just like that. Not too light, not too dark, kinda in between the pencil and the marker, as you're gonna see in just a second. Right here is going to be the marker, definitely the darkest and heaviest point option out of the three. And then finally the pencil looks like this, pretty light, really hard to read. I'm probably going to be using the pen option most of the time because the marker is so thick, the pencil's too thin, it's just, pen's probably going to work the best. Now this next part kind of blows me away. They put in the detail to add a legitimate ruler to the notes app. And when I say a ruler, I don't mean like, oh, you can draw like one straight line, like you can turn the ruler between one or zero and 360 degrees anywhere like this, which is absolutely insane. And then you can just take a marker or a pencil or a pen and draw an exact straight line along the ruler. Like I said, the amount of detail is crazy here. I wouldn't have even have thought to put a ruler in here, but I guess I think an example that someone showed at the keynote or maybe that they just suggested is you're drawing a very quick schematic for a room. You're writing, okay, that's going to be 12 inches or 12 feet along that wall, eight feet along that wall. All right, these are the dimensions. Get a ruler to draw straight lines, stuff like that. And then finally, we do have the erase option, which just uses your finger as the erase point. Seems to work very well, not like too finite. It doesn't take forever to erase something. It's not too huge, so it's not gonna erase half the screen in one tap. It actually just feels right here on my iPod Touch. And that is a new look at the Notes app in iOS 9. I think it is absolutely awesome. It was a much needed upgrade and I'm glad to see they added all these features. But as always, I'm curious to hear what you guys are thinking. Do you like the new Notes app? Do you think there should have been more features? Or are you just blown away by me that there is a movable and turnable ruler now built inside of the Notes app? Because that still blows my mind. If you guys enjoyed this video, you are more than welcome to click that like button down below. And for more content on iOS 9, which we are going to be talking about a ton in the coming months, make sure you hit subscribe in case you haven't already so you don't miss out on any of my future content. This has been Sam with iUpdateOS. Hope you guys had a great day. And I will talk to you in my next video.